group that just came out in 2008 or just when Barack Obama, they've been around since 2004, uh, where I guess there is not, as we say, no party identification because it is a spendingrevolt.com. Doesn't matter who's in charge, but it's not going that well. It's not going that well. What's up, Ken? Good to see you, man. We're going to introduce some other people here in just a little bit. Did y'all get some food and stuff? All right. I'm sorry, this is not sunny. There's no breakfast buffet this morning. All right, we have got a lot to do this morning. We're going to get with our guest and go on here. Uh, where's April Marie Folk? April, you come and speak for a couple minutes, right? Folks, April Marie Folk comes to my radio show every week. She is like the Ann Coulter of state politics um, because she doesn't back down. She doesn't bend when you see. She knows what's going on. She's not one of these, well, I'm a party hack from this side or a party hack. From what you will hear from the people today is the real deal. And these aren't a bunch of politicians out here to give you professional wrestling tactics and prearrange everything. I think you're going to like what we got to say today. April Marie, tell me what's going on today. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Uh, uh, many of you know this is my hometown. Uh, raised in Titusville, Florida. Lived here all my life. Uh, my sister and nephew are here. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and, uh, and many friends and other families. So I, I appreciate everybody coming out and joining us. Uh, we do have a great lineup for you today. Ed's going to be introducing all of our guests and speakers. This is the Spending Revolt bus tour behind me. Uh, a Spending Revolt bus. We have 11 stops in the state of Florida just this week. Uh, it is going all around the nation after this. I thought I was in trouble with 11 stops in five days. North Carolina has 15 stops in three days just following this. So, uh, so it really goes to show Americans all over the country are fed up with Washington, D.C. They're ready for a change of policy direction. They're ready to be held for their representatives to be held accountable, and they're ready to change the spending that's going on in our na national deficit that's ever growing. So I'm going to just go ahead, and I'm not going to speak too much about Americans for Prosperity, what we're going to do. I'm going to let Tim talk about that, our president who's here with us today. But again, I appreciate you coming out. Uh, many of y'all will see me, not just today, but again in months to come as we, uh, as we hold our elected officials accountable in our November is Coming campaign. But we'll talk about that more a little later. Um, Ed, if you can get started. How many of you all seen the website, spendingrevolt.com? How many of you all been on there? It is a great site, isn't it? Simplistic. Also go to americansforprosperity.com. A real legit group out there. Not some of these fly-by-night guys. And that's the one thing that's what I love having April Marie. These guys come on the program. We promote these guys. And in fact, we do it at no cost. I don't know how that is. But anyways, no, I'm just kidding with you. No, we, we like, no, I mean, we're on every day from 2 to 4, Monday through Friday. And it's just, it is good because you don't hear a bunch of political spin. And what you're going to hear from these guys today is what's been going on. David Williams, where are you at, my friend? Citizens Against Government Waste. How many of y'all know they've been around for quite a while? This is a watchdog group out of Washington, D.C., and of course they focus on a lot of other stuff. Come on up here and give us some words here, man. Tell us what's going on and what's been happening, what you guys been doing. Thank you very much. We've been around for 26 years. I've been part of the organization for 17 years, and as, uh, as Herman Cain said, I started when I was 10 years old. Not, not exactly the truth, but we've been publishing this little doozy for 20 years, the Congressional Pig Book. This is a list of earmarks that government funds every year. We had a $15 million indoor rainforest in 2005. You know who requested that? Senator Chuck Grassley, a Republican. We had $100,000 for the Tiger Woods Foundation. Tiger Woods received a handout from the federal government, $100,000. If there was anyone in the history of the universe that did not need federal money, it's Tiger Woods. Oh, it was the, the Department of Education that gave him the money. And there's no truth to the rumor that it was for sex education. <laughs> well, I'm going to keep my, my uh, remarks very short today, but I want to talk about what's happened in the last 24 to 48 hours with the GOP platform that just came out. A few weeks ago, Eric Cantor from Virginia made a statement, it seemed pretty innocuous, that he wants to bring back earmarks after this one-year moratorium that the Republicans have imposed on themselves. So we called his office and said, the Republicans want to bring back earmarks if they win control of the House? That makes absolutely no sense. So his press person said, well, it's a missed quote. They're really, that's not really what he wants to do. It's not the, the, the whole story. So look what happened in the GOP platform that came out in the last 24 hours. There is zero mention of earmarks. They have not pledged to keep their moratorium after 2011. So earmarks may come back if we aren't vigilant. If we, this is not about Democrats, it's not about Republicans, it's about spending. 
And look what happened in 1994 when the Republicans took over. Pork barrel spending skyrocketed in 2006, $29 billion. The same year the Republicans lost their majority. Is that a coincidence? I really don't think so. And they refused to address earmarks in their new platform. That is unacceptable. That's why we need to stay vigilant. With that, I think uh, that's enough for me. And who's our next uh, speaker, April? Okay. All right, good job. All right, up next. <laughs> Where is Jim? Doesn't he look like Ted Turner a little bit? No wonder the Ewan's been doing.